hi guys welcome back to our channel and today's video we are going to do unboxing oops and we're going to do unboxing of this social na sewing machine yay so ayan mayroon pa siyang mga plastic guys na open natin siya unbox natin ano na to siguro it's been already a week here and we're not able to unbox yet because the last week it was been raining and raining and raining so the lighting is not really good but today it's sunny and my husband bought a new led light video light i think video lighting i don't know what do you call them <laughs> so we can unbox our new sewing machine today so my husband is it's right here Neymar, nl660 660 led black color line so is a genomi skyline s9 this one i think is a little bit dirty but it's just the plastic i think it's been stuck in the store or i don't know uh, i think in their uh, storage that's why it's kind of dirty the plastic um we're just going to remove them so we can just ramp ramp rip them off they are um, here is the new sewing machine box. <gasps> oh, I'm so sort of excited. <laughs> so, there you go. Yes, let's try and unbox it. And it's been going to unbox it. There you go. Here is our sewing machine. <gasps> and the first and thing. There's a list in here somewhere. Yes. Of all the accessories. Mm -hmm. Put the reference card. Mm -hmm. for the embroidery mm -hmm. yeah. is um, the quick reference chart and uh, common keys utility stitches and machine settings category selection monogramming decorative stitch pattern combinations and this one is the quick reference chart sewing applications and file management and manual adjustments and this one is the corrections and that stuff over here you can see this one is really nice and here is the correction to color color name and that stuff over there so this is a quick reference for chart embroidery mold. So you can see there and here. Soft cover case. It's like a little soft cover mm. carrying case for the machine. Nope, I'll take it back, I'm sorry. It's a soft cover case for some of the accessories I think. It's not for the machine itself, excuse me. So it's just, it's a fairly small case. I'm guessing, like I said, it must be for some of the accessories. So this is the knee lifter. This I know is a embroidery attachment. It's a, attachment that you can flip it out and connect the hoops the embroidery hoops that I know and then you've got looks like a power cord one of these is probably the oh no that's a USB excuse me USB cable this is a power cord and then there's a bunch of accessories there that look like different sewing feet I guess this is a, oh, maybe some, like some fabric and some, maybe some thread to get started on, looks like bobbin thread, looks like it's bobbin thread, and maybe some, I guess some fabric or something, I guess. Um, this is the machine. 
This may be the one for the machine itself. Oh, yeah. Yes, I think this is the... Can you try to open it? My other case is. Embroidery case. Yes. Yeah. This one. Yeah, this looks like it's like a soft fabric cover. It's not going to protect it a lot, just keep the dust off of the time. And it's for the... Oh, it's, it's a cover. Yeah, it's a machine itself. Mm -hmm. Now, is it a case or is it just a cover? It's a cover because it's open in the bottom. It's a cover. Yeah, it's a cover, it's not a case. Yeah, because it flips over like that. It doesn't have a bottom on it, mm -hmm. so it must be just a cover. Yeah. Unless this thing, no. It's a cover. That's just to put pockets. Mm -hmm. That's just a pocket to put things in, so it is a cover. So I thought they had a soft shell case with it, but they don't. Iron fastener. And what is it's this one for? how you connect it to the embroidery attachment. This looks like it's a centering plate. Looks like you use it to center the, um, the fabric so that you know where your, the center of your hoop is, I think. But you get the largest one, and that's a good thing. It's a sewing machine. It's a Janome Skyline S9. I think I'll leave that in there for the time being. And it's it's got some man. It's got some metal in it. It's. It's definitely, it's got some weight. It's not plastic, that's for sure. Whatever the camshaft is through here, it's got to be a, a solid metal camshaft and a solid chassis, metal chassis, because it's, it's definitely heavy. Oh, this is the foot pedal. Mm -hmm. So that you can control the yeah. stitch with the foot pedal. The extra one. Oh, this is for the embroidery, I think. So it comes with, yeah. Oh, I think this is like a replacement because this one locks the same with these. So there's bunches of accessories here. I don't know what this is, but we're going to. Check the manual. Uh, yeah, and there's another one here that we don't know yet what they are for. I think there's some cleaner in here, and they said that yeah, the oil cleaner. And I think they said there is extra bobbins, but I don't know where that is. Oh yeah, here there's a plastic bobbins inside. We're not going to open this plastic because there's a lot of tiny um, stuff over there and I don't know what this is as well so we're going to check them out later so this is the the embroidery one attachment. yeah embroidery attachment yes and you're going to put it right here if you're going to do embroidery but if you're just going to um, sew like regular sewing you don't need to attach this one. You, you can just attach this once you want embroidery. You're going to move this out of the way. Yes, please. And yes, this is the power. And here, are you going to put, um, uh, what do you call this? You're going to put the um, one, it comes, it is um, powered with. How about foot, foot pedal? Yeah, this one, what do you call it? I think this is the power cord and this is the, the oh this is the power cord that's the power switch and then that's probably for the foot control yeah this is for the foot control but this one is the flash drive where you can save your stuff and then you just pull them out if you don't want if you want to embroidery and you save some this i'll bet goes to a computer this is a usb for a computer that's a usb for a flash drive yeah for the flash drive because if you want to save files so that next time 
you don't need to download anything just uh, hook your usb and it will gonna read here on your computer screen you're going to lift this up so you have here the different stitches and it would be really easy for you to check because they have like numbers it's like all you need to do is go to the utility and then you choose what kind of stitches you want to turn on the power over here so let's see Ooh, wow that's wonderful look at this guys so it says raise needle bar slowly so you have different stitches here and they have numbers and that's what you're going to do here you're going to choose what kind of um, stitches you like and they already have numbers so it would be really really easy and also it's like this one is utility bottom hole applique hair loom quilt satin bridge and here decorative different kind of stitches so what they are and over here there's like long stitches different designs as well i think this long has 16 um different kind of stitches and here in decorative you will going to have like 75 different stitches and the pictograph you have like 28 and on the play you have like eight and this one's like it's onomatic it's like there's love and sweet it's like it's already a word that you can use for stitches and this one is like a different i don't know what you call this and this one is a straight stitch needle plate and utility quilt and that and there's also horizontal mirror and tapering there as well so you have really plenty of different decorative uh, kind of stitches and here you are going to put your uh, thread and i drew this one what is this one for but we're going to check that later but this one is for the thread over inside so it's really good not thing because you don't need to put anything here in the outside but your thread is just inside so it looks really neat 